my NL, my NLS uh, MP3 uh, player from the from the Library of Congress. I can see uh, I call it the deluxe model. Here is where the tape or the cartridge go. Here is you can actually put your own USB uh, stick in here. And here is one of the info sections. Advanced player user guide. Current position 3. Introducing your new talking book player. Talking book player. Please place the player in front of you. The retractable carrying handle should be facing you and the power cord should be at the back. The handle is light gray in color to contrast with the body of the player. The power cord is stored in the enclosure at the back of the player. To plug in the player, unfold the power cord and plug it into a power outlet. Note that the player will turn on automatically when you plug it into the power outlet. Above the handle is an opening where you will insert the book cartridge that you will receive in the mail from the library. We will discuss how to play a book in a later section. A headphone connector jack is on the right side of the player near the front. Headphones are not included. The player has a built-in speaker, so using headphones is optional. If you do plug in headphones, the built-in speaker will be silent. On the right side, behind the headphone jack, is a connector port covered with a cap. This is an optional connection for a remote access control to assist physically disabled persons who cannot use the player's button controls. Conventional USB flash memory drives may also be plugged into this connector to play books obtained from the library via the Internet. Finally, on the bottom of the player, near the front, are two recessed bars for attaching a shoulder strap. A shoulder strap is not supplied. 3.1 Power Now, let's explore the top surface of the player. This is where the control buttons and the speaker are located. Near the front, on the left side, is a round red button. It is surrounded by a raised ridge. This is the power button. The letter P appears in Braille next to this power button. You will use the power button to turn the player on and off. 3.2. Play. Stop. At the front of the player, in the middle, is a large green rectangular button. This is the play stop button. The play stop button is labeled with the letter P in Braille. Press the play stop button once to start playing the book. If the book is already playing, or if the player is speaking a message, you can press this same play stop button to stop playing. 3.3. Rewind. To the left of the play stop button, you will find the rewind button. It is light gray in color, and it is shaped like a triangle pointing toward the left. The edges of the left point of the rewind button are raised. The rewind button is labeled with the letter R in Braille. The rewind button is used to move the reading position backward. Tap the rewind button once to move backward five seconds in the book. Press and hold the rewind button to move back further in the book. The longer you hold the button down, the more quickly you will move backward. The player will tell you how far the reading position has moved. If you hold down the rewind button for 10 seconds, you will back up 15 minutes in the book. If you hold down the rewind button longer than 10 seconds, the reading position will continue moving, progressively faster, back to the previous chapter, where it will then move from chapter to chapter. You will hear a beep at the start of each chapter. If you hold down the rewind button long enough, you will reach the beginning of the book. When you release the rewind button, immediately after hearing a chapter beep, the player will announce the name of that chapter and play from its beginning. If the player was stopped prior to pressing the rewind button, you will need to press the play button to hear the book. It is not necessary to rewind the book before returning it to the library. 3.4. Fast Forward To the right of the play stop button, you will find the fast forward button. It is light gray in color, and it is shaped like a triangle pointing toward the right. The edges of the right point of the fast-forward button are raised. The fast-forward button is labeled with the letter F in Braille. The fast-forward button is used to move the reading position forward. 
tap the fast forward button once to move forward five seconds in the book. Press and hold the fast forward button to move further forward in the book. The longer you hold the button down, the more quickly you will move forward. The player will tell you how far the reading position has moved. If you hold down the fast forward button for 10 seconds, you will advance 15 minutes in the book. If you hold down the fast forward button longer than 10 seconds, the reading position will continue moving, progressively faster, to the next chapter, where it will then move from chapter to chapter. You will hear a beep at the start of each chapter. If you hold down the fast forward button long enough, you will reach the end of the book. When you release the fast forward button, after moving to a different chapter, the player will announce the name of that chapter and play from its beginning. If the player was stopped prior to pressing the fast forward button, you will need to press the play button to hear the book. 3.5 Volume Up and Down To the right of the fast forward button, you will find the volume buttons. These two buttons are yellow and shaped like rounded triangles. The rounded edge of each volume button is raised. The letter V appears in Braille next to the volume buttons. The lower button, the button pointing toward the handle, is the volume down button. When listening to a book, press the volume down button to lower the volume by one level. There are 15 volume levels. Note that you cannot turn the volume off completely. A double beep will inform you when you have reached minimum volume. Above the volume down button, you will find the volume up button. It is yellow and is shaped like a rounded triangle pointing toward the back of the player. When listening to a book, press the volume up button to raise the volume by one level. There are 15 volume levels. A double beep will inform you when you have reached maximum volume. 3.6 Sleep Directly above the play stop button, you will find a gray crescent shaped button. This is the sleep button. The sleep button is labeled with the letter S in Braille. This sleep button is used to play the book for a time and then stop. You can set the length of time to play in increments of 15 minutes, up to one hour. This feature can be useful when you think you may fall asleep with the player on and do not wish to lose your place in the book. Pressing the sleep button once will play the book for 15 minutes. Pressing the sleep button twice in succession will play for 30 minutes, three times, 45 minutes, and four times for one hour. Each time you press the sleep button after a pause of several seconds, the timer will be reset to 15 minutes. Pressing the stop button cancels the sleep timer. 3.7. Tone up and down. Now, moving to the top half of the player, you will find on the left side of the central speaker two buttons shaped like rounded triangles pointing up and down. These are the Tone Up and Tone Down buttons. They are light gray in color. The rounded edge of each tone button is raised. The letter T appears in Braille next to those tone buttons. You can use these tone buttons to adjust the tone of the reading voice. There are 11 levels of tone. A single beep will inform you when you have reached the normal level, and a double beep will tell you that you have reached the minimum or maximum level. The tone setting of each book can be adjusted to suit your preference and the narrator's voice. 3.8. Speed up and down. To the right of the central speaker, you will find two buttons shaped like rounded triangles pointing up and down. These are the speed up and down buttons. They are light gray in color. The letter S appears in Braille next to the speed buttons. You can use these speed buttons to adjust the speed of the reading voice. There are 16 levels of speed. A single beep will inform you when you have reached the normal level, and a double beep will tell you that you have reached the minimum or maximum level. The speed setting of each book can be adjusted to suit your preference and the narrator's pace. 3.9 Advanced Functions the following buttons, located in a row across the middle portion of the player, perform advanced functions. In front of the speed buttons is a gray rectangular button with a raised vertical line. This is the bookmark button. The letter B appears in Braille next to this button. The bookmark button is useful when you wish to return to places in a book. When you 
set bookmarks in your books, you can continue to read and return to these bookmarks whenever you wish. The bookmarks will be kept in memory even if you remove the book or turn off the player. When you decide to return to a book at a later date, your bookmarks will still be available. The print label next to the bookmark button appears as Mark. 3.10 Menu The three buttons found beneath the central speaker, to the left of the bookmark button, are used to navigate within a book. From left to right, these are the Previous Item, Menu, and Next Item buttons. The Menu button is directly beneath the speaker. It is rectangular with a raised horizontal line in the middle and is a light gray color. The letter M appears in Braille next to this button. Use the Menu button to select the type of navigation you wish to use. The first press of the Menu button will announce the current navigation level. Subsequent presses will advance to the next level until you have reached the bookmark navigation level. 